All right, breaking news in the Idaho investigation involving Brian Koberger, the suspect in the murders of four Idaho college students. The question is, is there more? We talked about that possibility, authorities investigating his role in other murders and maybe in other states. Today, we put some meat on the bones of that. There's a grand jury impaneled in Pennsylvania, not Idaho, okay? And his parents have been subpoenaed to testify. Former FBI agent and News Nation Law and Order contributor Jennifer Coffendaffer and News Nation senior national correspondent Brian Enton uh, join. Brian, let me start uh, with you. Uh, what do we know? Well, we're building off of your exclusive reporting, Chris. Uh, you reported that um, that Koberger was being looked into in other uh, murders and other cases. Uh, we now have confirmation that Brian Koberger's parents uh, are testifying in front of a grand jury in Pennsylvania, and that it has something to do uh, with uh, a case there involving a missing woman uh, that went missing last year. Um, and, uh, and it is an investigative grand jury, which I heard you emphasize, which is important, uh, because it's not a grand jury where they're looking to indict one specific person, uh, but they are looking into the situation as a whole. We have also learned through a source close to the case, Chris, um, that, uh, that there is a strong alibi, reportedly, that, uh, that Brian Koberger has in this situation. Okay. Appreciate you, brother. Chime in if you want to. Cough and daffer, help me. Uh, I'm confused uh, by this situation. And I'll, I'll tell you quickly why, and you can correct uh, anything that I have wrong or, or explain uh, the confusion. One, if he's got an alibi, I don't understand why you're putting the parents in front of the grand jury. Uh, and uh, if you are the parents, uh, supposedly they were making legal moves to quash the subpoena. They didn't want to do this. If you have information about an alibi about your kid and a connection to a bad act, let alone a felony that you know, could be a murder, why wouldn't you want to go in? Uh, I don't understand this. I also don't understand the use of an investigative grand jury because usually they're looking at a panoply of uh, potential different investigations, not just one. What's your take on this? Well, a couple of things. First of all, exactly uh, nail on the head for both of the first two. It doesn't make any sense if they have a nailed down alibi. Again, that source information. But if it's nailed down, why are you calling on the parents? Why do you need them to say, yeah, we waved goodbye and gave him a hug and he got in a car and left? That should be proved through digital information that would be retrieved from his cell phone. And there should also be where he was staying there that was separated from where this uh, not missing person but actually murder took place remember the body was just recently recovered and that's why there would be an investigative grand jury convened right now to look at all the facts surrounding that now and also why would you split them up if that's true that uh, the parents aren't testifying together now depending on the state you can have different rules uh, you guys know this but for you at home uh, but in general you know witnesses in a grand jury uh, are not held uh, to secrecy. So if you split them up like that, that means they can talk to other people about their testimony. They could coordinate testimony. It's just odd. Uh, now, Jennifer, you reminded us of something that has become uh, much more instructive now than when we were uh, originally playing with it back in January. Uh, tell the audience uh, what you fleshed out in terms of searches that you found online uh, and why now that we know they're looking at him for other things uh, become especially relevant. Right. If you look on Google, there's particular searches that you can do to see what queries are made. So if you go into Brian Koberger suspect or Brian Koberger wanted for a period of years going even be beyond 2018, before 2018 and well before these murders, well before he was arrested, it's amazing. You see all these queries for those. Well, who would conduct those queries? But I would contend that person querying themselves, wanting to know if they're wanted, wanting to know if a, they are a suspect, or somebody that was thinking they could be a suspect or wanted. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.